Hello everybody and welcome to Real and Virtual Outdoors. On today's episode we are going to discuss the 22 long rifle caliber for self-defense. The description for the video is entitled Is the 22 caliber right for you? This is a topic that has been discussed widely on YouTube. And I'm going to give you my opinion and what works for me. It doesn't mean that it's uh, the best information. It's just the best that I have to offer. Um, on your screen is a box of CCI stingers. Those are 22 long rifles. And I showed you that because we're going to talk about these a little bit. Uh, I do not believe that there is a perfect caliber or handgun that's universal, that fits everyone or everyone's needs. There are people that have arthritis. There are people that are older. Uh, there are people like me that have a physical disability that prevents them from shooting uh, a 45 or a 357 Magnum. Now in my case, 25 years ago, I shot everything all the way up from a 22 to a 44 bag. Unfortunately, as the years have went by and I've got older, my hands have got weaker. And they don't work quite as well as they used to. My preferred carry gun for years was 38. Uh, then I carried a 9mm uh, also. The 9mm I don't carry anymore because it can't work the slide. Gun is no good if you can't work the slide and load the magazine. That gun sets it safe. 38 calibers I can still handle, but the recoil was rough. Getting off more than one shot at a time uh, or a second and third follow-up shot, I should say, is an issue. So I have recently decided that I needed to go with something that worked for me instead of trying to fight uh, recall and I've recently purchased a 22 semi-automatic handgun that will be my personal defense weapon soon. Now I know there's a lot of people on YouTube that's going to say a 22 is no good for self-defense and I don't want to get a hundred emails because I know it's not the best choice. However, for some people, it may be the only choice. And in considering that it may be the only choice, before you pass judgment, you have to think of those things. A 22 long rifle for self-defense is better than a slingshot and is certainly better than me running over their toe with my wheelchair. I bought a Ruger SR-22 and I'm going to do a review on that firearm because I have added some nice things to it to make it a better choice for personal defense. Now if you remember in the first of the video I showed the CCI Stingers. I want to talk about those a little bit. The Stingers are my choice 
of ammunition. I chose the Stingers simply because I've been shooting them for years and because of the reliability of those years of experience of shooting them. You have very few misfires. Unlike your bulk ammunition, you get a lot of misfires. Do not use bulk ammunition in your self-defense 22. Use a premium ammunition. CCI Stinger is good. Federal has made uh, one I believe they call Punch. Uh, you want something that is made reliable. Now CCI Stingers are a 32 grain hollow point bullet. The advertisement on the package says that the bullet fires at 1,640 feet per second. You will not get that out of a handgun with a four inch barrel. 1640 is shot out of a rifle. You're not going to get those numbers out of a handgun. If you have a small pocket 22 or a snub nose, you will not get 1100 feet. Probably going to get 950 to 1020, roughly. The hollow point portion of the bullet. It's hollow point, it's what it is, but it doesn't really make any difference coming out of a handgun because you're not going to get expansion most of the time. You might get expansion 50% of the time. It's just not enough speed to open the bullet, especially when it gets full of clothing or denim or uh, any kind of uh, fabric particle, it prevents the 22 uh, cartridge from opening up. If you have an issue with your personal defense firearm and you're struggling, uh, you may consider going to a 22. Uh, I did for four reasons. Uh, one is I can work the slide. Uh, if I have a jam, I can get it unjammed easily, proficiently. Two, the magazines are extremely easy to load. And I'm talking about putting the bullets in the magazine. Three is the gun is light. It is easy for me to maneuver. Uh, four is recoil. The recoil is so non-existent that I can get off five, six, seven, eight shots in a matter of two to three seconds. And I'm talking about shots on target. Okay. And follow-up shots are the most important thing when you're fighting for your life. One shot may not do the trick. If you are an individual that is disabled like I am, you might consider going to a 22 caliber pistol, maybe even a rifle if you're homebound. If you're an elderly person and you're having problems grabbing a hold of a slide or uh, something like that. You might even go to a 22 revolver. Uh, I didn't go to a revolver and the reason is simple. I've got a weak trigger finger. My hands, uh, trigger finger is weak and 22 caliber uh, revolvers, uh, they have a notoriously heavy hammer. So I bought a gun that uh, I could cock the hammer on a semi-automatic, get that first shot off, and then it resets the hammer every time I shoot. Now this is my opinion. Does it mean that it's right for you? Think it over. 
give it some thought. It works for me. It's right for me. And that's where we're going to go with it. I hope that you can take something from this video and feel like that you helped you. Or maybe that uh, you got some clarification. Uh, there's all kinds of videos about penetration and gel blocks and fabrics and uh, you know what the 22 will do and what it won't and how it performs on YouTube. I'm not going to get into that. I'm talking to you only about what works for someone uh, that may struggle like I do. Uh, I hope you will consider joining the Real and Virtual Outdoors family and subscribe to my channel. Uh, hit that notification bell so you know when I drop a video. And I hope that you uh, will give me a thumbs up. And uh, if you have something you'd like to talk to me about, you can always drop me a comment. Uh, you can always give me an email. Uh, my email address will be in the description of this video. Uh, I thank you for being part of the real and virtual outdoors family. And I want you to have a wonderful day. Thank you.